Week nine of the Paris Marathon training block and what a week it was. Starting with an incredible track session on Monday, finishing with an awesome race on Sunday. My highest mileage week so far. So if you are excited for today's video, then please do give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned to the end to find out how I got on in my marathon and what my mileage was this week. I really feel like I've started to turn a corner in my training. Monday, we did eight times 800 on the track. Now, either my fitness is improving or the Endorphin Elite shoes are unbelievable because I felt so comfortable. And we did three minutes, well, under three minutes for each of the 800 meter reps. Now, if I'm gonna do a sub three hour marathon in Paris, I need to do 800 meter reps comfortably under three minutes. And that's what I did on Monday. It was amazing, my heart rate felt good, I felt relaxed, and we sped up towards the end. So each 800, we sped up, and the final 800 was around two minutes 45. So incredible, really confidence boosting track session on Monday. Nice easy day on Tuesday. As always, the film my run 500 with Noble Pro in the morning. It's a 500 meter climb on the treadmill. We do it at 12% and it's only 4.2 kilometers and it's nice and slow. So relaxed heart rate. As always, in the description below is a link and a code for you to get an awesome discount off a Noble Pro treadmill. Any of the Noble Pro treadmills, you'll get a discount if you use my code in the description. And then on the Tuesday evening, we did an interval session on Zwift, but it was relaxed. I did it very slow. So although it was intervals, it was low heart rate, easy running. Now at some point on Tuesday, I cracked a tooth and I had to go to Brighton for a dental appointment. So Wednesday morning started with a relaxed 10K on Brighton seafront. But then the really tough session came in the evening on Zwift. It was a ladder interval session. So we started with one minute hard at a fast pace. Then we had one minute recovery, then one and a half minutes, not quite as hard. Another one minute recovery, two minutes, not quite as hard again, one minute recovery, and then two and a half minutes, not quite as hard again, and a one minute recovery, and then we went back up. So two minutes, one and a half minutes, and one minute. Fast, tough interval session on Zwift on Wednesday evening. And if you notice, I did work hard because I've got a max HR of 172. It's not often I get up to 172 these days. Now, normally on a Thursday, I would do the 500 meter climb on Zwift on the treadmill. However, this Thursday, I thought I'd change it up a bit and I took myself off to Eastbourne to run 20K on the Seven Sisters Hills. And that amounted to about 700 meters of elevation on Thursday morning. Thursday evening, we just did a very easy, relaxed 5K on the treadmill. And that made it around 45 miles for the week, over 70 kilometers so far. On Friday morning, we did this run, 10K up and down the seafront, but I did it as 1K reps at marathon pace. So one kilometer off, one kilometer at marathon pace, one kilometer relax, one kilometer at marathon pace. Very pleased with that because uh, I didn't get above 155 BPM for any of those reps. So that is good news. We wanna keep the heart rate as low as we can for marathon pace efforts. Now we are just gonna to totally ignore the fact that I did another interval session on Friday evening. It was part of the Zwift Run Academy workout season. And uh, again, I did it really low heart rate, really easy. I didn't stress myself out. I didn't do it as a proper workout. So when you look at it on Strava, it isn't a proper interval session. <laughs> and talking about Strava, if you do want to see all of my runs in detail, if you're interested at all, then everything is on my Strava account. Go and have a look there, you're more than welcome. And if you're finding the video useful, interesting or entertaining, then please do go and hit that like button. Really helps the algorithm, as you know. And if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate your subscription as well. Thank you very much. We got to 199 park runs on Saturday. 
when we went to Horsham. And the Horsham Park Run is at a beautiful place called Southwater Country Park. Something like 1937 for 5K on Saturday. So really enjoyed that. And then Saturday evening, we did the uh, Paris Marathon long run training session on Zwift, on the treadmill, uh, with loads of other people who were all coming to join us in Paris. Great fun. We did about 15 kilometers, nice, slow, easy running. So by Saturday evening, we'd completed around about 115 kilometers. And then on Sunday, we had a marathon to do. So this was my fifth time of running the Stenning Stinger Marathon. It's all on my local trails, so I know them really well. And I have run the Stenning Stinger Marathon route two or three other times as well. So I know it like the back of my hand. And it's normally a complete mud fest, but we were really lucky this Sunday. It was totally dry, almost totally dry. Now bear in mind, this was supposed to be a training run, um, but my fastest time on the Stenning Stinger Marathon thus far has been three hours, 55 minutes in terrible muddy conditions. Um, I tried to go out with the intention of going under four hours with a solid, sensible paced run. And for the most part, that's exactly what happened. I kept it steady. I kept it low heart rate. And if you look at my stats, my heart rate for the entire run, almost 85% of the time, I'm in zones one and two. There's only 30 minutes of running in zone three. And yet, partly because of the really dry conditions and partly because I'm probably pretty well trained now for the Paris Marathon, I managed to come in 10 minutes faster than my best ever time on that course. Three hours, 44 minutes and 30 something seconds. So I was absolutely, totally blown away by Sunday's marathon result. So we ended up with 156 kilometers of running. That's 97 miles of running for week nine of the Paris Marathon training block. And uh, that worked out at 12 sessions overall and three of those being hard sessions. So Monday's track session, Wednesday's Zwift interval session and the Horsham Park run on Saturday. Those were my three hard efforts during the week. Now of those 156 kilometers, 19 of them were really tough, hard, fast running. Uh, and that made about 12, 12 or 13% of my running during the week was a hard effort. And now let's look at heart rate. So during the week, I ran for about 14 hours and 55 minutes, just shy of 15 hours of running last week. And of those, I was in zones four and five. So that's where we do our really hard effort, our VO2 max or above threshold running 4.8% of the time. So nearly 5%, uh, I think it was 43 or 44 minutes of really tough zone four and zone five running. And if you look at the spreadsheet, you can see the vast majority, 13 hours of those 15, 13 hours was in zones one and two. So very little in that middle zone. So zone three, the zone we race in, hopefully at the Paris Marathon, very little running in that zone. And we'll see you on the start line for week number 10 of the Paris Marathon training sessions next week. And believe me, there's a big change coming. If you'd like to watch the video I made of my Stenning Stinger Marathon, then uh, click that link right there. That'll take you to that marathon video. When I say there's a big change coming, I don't mean clothing. I haven't got a whole new load of branded gear or anything. Somebody's got in touch with me and severely told me off about my marathon training plan. Find out next week. See ya.